direction. I need a destination, an end to my beginning, an omega to my alpha. But how can there be progress without a destination? Aha! A path! A narrow path that leads to a destination. Progress! Ah, before me, I see a large wall. I press on and walk through the wall like a ghost. Nope, walls are solid. Can't do that. Note to self, cannot walk through walls. A button! Push the button. Escape the box. I control the world with a wave of my figurative hand. Oh, being a god, I have no need for hands, apparently. I think I need some trimmings. Something to spruce the place up a bit. Make my universe heavenly. Something to reflect my wealth and godlike status. Grand. It needs uh, colour. Gold. <laughs> Lots of gold. To reflect my immense wealth and abundance of goldness. Also to reflect my love of... Wow! So many books, years of reading! But why would God read books that he's written? Then again, books written by God would be the best books. Why, why would I read books that I haven't written? I should write my own book, a book set apart from the rest. I wouldn't know what to call it. Autobiography, maybe. A Brief History of Life. Numa presents himself in Numa. Critics have called it the best book ever written. Winner of every writing prize for writing. The hallway called it the best book since records began. A small bench said it was a record-breaking record of historical records. I can move bridges with my mind. I wonder if I could move them to laughter or tears. They seem to be quite emotionally dead. But with enough anthropomorphism, I'm sure they would lighten up. Thank you, bridges, for bringing things together. I wonder if these bridges deserve different hidden hand guiding my footsteps. The laws unfold. Their origins are mystery. But why a mystery? Gods should know all things. Gods are creators. I must have created this world. If not, why would the world have the appearance of craft? Perhaps as I speak, a subconscious part of me is busy making the next room. It is my world, after all. I must be working. Grand! So many doors! The path still appears to travel onwards behind a large gate, but there are forks in this path. An opportunity to travel, see the universe, go along any path I desire. All this travelling though, I would like a travelling companion, someone to watch over me, help decide where to go, watch my back, keep me company. Oh, but that's just silliness. I don't really need anyone. I'm a god. Why can I be surprised? If I'm all-knowing, then I should know all. Perhaps there is a moment when knowledge is created. <laughs> Perhaps my lack of control is rational. I have two observable natures as far as I can see, my body and my mind. My body moves around doing things. It can be pushed away by equal and opposite forces. It is constrained by the world. My mind creates thoughts that it speaks.
What is my nature though? Unitary, bipartite or tripartite or something other? How could I know? I have my words. Words are the product of a mind. Therefore it follows that I think. I think, therefore I am. Cogito ergo sum. I move, so I have a body. Maybe a spirit too. Something intangible. A connection with a world I cannot know. Insatiable appetite for closure? Show yourself, please! Your silence is deafening, you say nothing, you sit silently above, playing God. You are the danger. You move my world. A leap of faith. I'm alive, I'm real. I'm alive and I'm real. I am a real boy. Thank you. Oh, you sure deserve to be a real boy. Someday I'm gonna be a real boy. A real boy with thoughts. A real boy. An alive, real boy, a boy with thoughts, a boy with thoughts, with heart, with soul, with mind, with body, with consciousness, with spirit, with breath, Numa, I'm a real boy, I'm not a wooden character, I'm a real boy, with emotions.